This truly one of the great Indiana technology success stories, and I'm pleased to be joined now by CEO Don Brown. Don, congratulations. Thank you. Great to see you. Uh, second year in a row, I mean, I'm sure you could talk a lot on this, but as you look at the success of the company that is now 20 years old, again, a real Indiana success story, what, in your view, have been some of the keys to, the, to that success? Well, I, I think it's a combination of uh, financial conservatism. We're a publicly traded company. I uh, went uh, public back in 1999, and we like to say we're about as boring and Midwestern as they come. Mm -hmm. uh, we never took venture capital. Uh, we really have uh, just played things in a pretty conservative fashion, kind of a squeaky clean company. If there's doubt, we uh, uh, yeah. take the uh, more conservative approach. But on the technology side, we're risk takers. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think one of the big factors in our recent success was that about five years or so ago, uh, we made a huge bet on the cloud. Mm -hmm. um, it was clear that a, a lot of uh, organizations wanted to consume software via a subscription model over the internet instead of the traditional way of uh, purchasing licensed uh, software and then setting up the servers and hiring IT people to run it uh, themselves. And it was a propitious uh, bet for us yeah. and it's played out pretty well. Your um, perspective on the, the landscape, the technology landscape here and how it's changed over the last uh, couple of decades. Well, you know, this is my third uh, software company here and uh, the first go round, it was uh, uh, pretty difficult. Um, you know, there was just a lot of skepticism in general, even among potential customers about buying from a company headquartered in Indianapolis. But it's been rewarding to see that concern dissipate over the years to the point that you know, we now sell to some of the largest companies in the world, and we're proud of uh, saying that we're headquartered in Indianapolis, Indiana, and I think uh, the collective success of companies like Exact Target and Angie's List and Primo and many others has, has really created an atmosphere uh, that has changed those attitudes pretty dramatically. Very good. Well, the tech company of the year for the second year in a row, Interactive Intelligence. Dr. Don Brown, thank you and congratulations. Thank you. Appreciate right. it.